Man United stars arrive for training after Liverpool humiliation. Manchester United players and staff got down to work on Tuesday morning following a day off after their total humiliation at the hands of Liverpool. The Red Devils were totally embarrassed by Jurgen Klopp's side as they fell to a 5-0 defeat at Old Trafford, leaving manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer under immense pressure. Marcus Rashford, Luke Shaw, Harry Maguire and company all looked glum-faced as they arrived for training less than 48 hours on from that horror show. While the club's director of football John Murto smiled and waved to the camera on his arrival into the Carrington training base. Cristiano Ronaldo issued a rallying cry to his teammates in the aftermath of the shocking loss, Captain Harry Maguire apologized to the fans, goalkeeper David De Gea slammed his teammates for an unacceptable performance, while defender Shaw insisted the players are to blame, rather than their boss. Without a Premier League victory since September 19 the scrutiny on Solskjaer has intensified in recent weeks and the speculation surrounding his future had only escalated since Sunday's capitulation. Sportsmail reported on Monday night that the Norwegian fears he may lose his job after almost three years in charge with former Chelsea boss Antonio Conte one of the frontrunners to succeed him. The club offered Solskjaer a lukewarm support on a day of deafening silence at the Premier League Giants on Monday as chairman Joel and Avram Glazer held crisis talks with executive vice chairman Ed Woodward and managing director Richard Arnold. As the fallout of the humbling defeat continued, the 48-year-old manager spent just under three hours at United's training ground around lunchtime with his backroom team and squad given the day off. Senior players have begun questioning Solskjaer's tactics and leadership over concerns that he is too soft on them and does not have enough experience to turn things around. Woman knocks over cyclist at bike race right before finishing line see the shocking moment a small plane falls out of the sky in Russia Arctic polar bear malls and devours a reindeer West Ham and Tottenham supporters appear to brawl at London Stadium animation shows detection of a planet outside the galaxy West Ham and Tottenham supporters throwing beer cups at each other Tina Knight says employees set a bad example by working from home loose women clash over whether the UK should lock down the unvaccinated Gove Likens Boris betrayal in 2016 is bomb going off in my hands Klopp praises exceptional, and ruthless as Liverpool in win over United scientific model shows impact of planetary bombardment these people are doing so much damage, Javid slams anti-vaxxers it is not the first time Solskjaer has faced an uncertain future at Old Trafford, but on Monday he was the shortest odds he's ever been as boss to lose his job with the bookmakers. The United hierarchy have given him unequivocal backing previously and supported him in the summer transfer window, but the message on Monday night was less forceful. Sources stress the need to pull together and move on from Sunday's embarrassment, adding that there is nothing to say Solskjaer won't still be in charge when United visit Tottenham on Saturday evening. Spurs find themselves in desperate need of a result as well after Nuno Espirito Santos' side lost to Dutch Minnows Vitesse in the Europa Conference League last week and were beaten 1-0 by London rivals West Ham at the weekend. If Solskjaer does survive this crisis, he knows that bold decisions will need to be made after five defeats in nine games. Woman knocks over cyclist at bike race right before finishing line Stacy Solomon takes her family to a pumpkin patch and adorable video Earl Spencer's mischievous puppy has a penchant for stealing slippers home of the future featuring a smart stowaway furniture system Charlie Mullins on selling Pimlico plumbers for £150 million loose women clash over whether the UK should lock down the unvaccinated noisy cats have an argument in the garden before engaging in face-off Klopp praises exceptional and ruthless as Liverpool in win over United Marks and Spencer urging new customers to look behind the label scientists create the most detailed map of Uranus to date Dutch company releases amazing electric super sub-tropical temptations, deluxe any and only Le saint in Mauritius resort in the aftermath of the Liverpool humiliation, sources claim that he was just as stunned as anyone in the confines of the team's old Trafford dressing room after. The full-time whistle. As exclusively revealed by Sportsmail, Solskjaer is understood to have called on his players to fight their way back from one of the darkest days the club has suffered in recent memory. He warned them to prepare for days of major criticism following the capitulation, but said the only way they would come through it is by sticking together and responding. It was made clear to the players that they all, including the manager, would get battered this week, said the source. But the message was that the team either fights each other or fight back together. However, having asked his players to implement a pressing style against Jurgen Klopp's side, a number of players believed the team were not prepared to play in that way because they had not particularly focused on the tactic and training in the days leading up to the game. Ex-Inter Milan boss Conte is open to the United hot seat having been out of work since leaving Italy in May, although his team maintain 
that they will not start talks with United until Solskjaer's future has been resolved. Woman knocks over cyclist at bike race, right before finishing line see the shocking moment a small plane furls out of the sky in Russia Arctic polar bear malls and devours a reindeer West Ham and Tottenham supporters appear to brawl at London Stadium animation shows detection of a planet outside the galaxy West Ham and Tottenham supporters throwing beer cups at each other Tina Knight says employees set a bad example by working from home loose women clash over whether the UK should lock down the unvaccinated Gove Likens Boris betrayal in 2016 is bomb going off in my hands Klopp praise is exceptional, and ruthless is Liverpool in win over United scientific model shows impact of planetary bombardment these people are doing so much damage, Javid slams anti-vaxxers.